Hello everyone, this is Humphrey again with Router Gods, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at BGP peering. So this is a multi-part video. We're going to start off with a pretty basic configuration, three routers, each in its own autonomous system. So router 0 is in AS100, router 1 in 200, and router 2 in 300. So we've got our loopback set up on the left side, loopback 100 and 200, 192, 168, 100.1. .1 and 200.1. We've got a link in between 0 and 1 which is 50.1 and 50.2 that's a slash 24 and a link between router 1 and router 2 that's 60.1 and 60.2 slash 24 and on router 2 there's a loopback loopback 500, 200, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay we've got GNS3 all set up we've got our routers you can pretty much use any routers and I've used fast Ethernet links between all three routers we're going to start everything up. Okay, our routers are up. Now we're going to configure all the interfaces and basic IP reachability information. So we're going to go back to our topology drawing. We're going to router zero and we're going to go through this pretty fast because at this point I'm assuming that uh, you're pretty comfortable at the command line. So router zero, no IP domain lookup, line con zero, no exec timeout. Logging synchronous. All right. Configure our loopbacks first. Configure the second loopback. and configure our fast Ethernet interface. Okay, router zero is done as far as basic IP info. Go to router one, move that down here. Okay, no IP domain lookup, line con zero, I'll just do logging synchronous. Configure a fast zero zero interface. No shut, I'll always remember to do a no shut. Okay, router 1 is done. I'm going to just ping router 0 just to make sure. And we have a ping, so that's good for router 1. Going to router 2. Configure the loopbacks. And configure the fast Ethernet interface. We're going to ping 192.168.60.1, which is router 1, our middle router. And everything's good. OK. so. Basic IP information is configured. Now we're going to set up our peering relationships. And before we do that, BGP, let's explain a couple basic things. BGP pretty much expects for EB, eBGP neighbors to be formed on a connected link, so a single subnet. In this video, we're going to definitely do that. We're going to connect from router 0 to router 1 and router 1 to router 2. And in the next video, we're going to keep the same topology and the same settings, and we're going to actually connect from router 0 to router 2. And you can actually do that in BGP, because all you need to do for neighbor relationships 
is to connect to an IP address. So as long as you have an IP address, it's on the internet somewhere, you can peer to it, uh, assuming there's no firewalls and other things uh, in the way. Uh, and even if there is, there are tricks to get it through there too. But uh, as far as this video is concerned, we're just gonna go hop by hop from router zero to router one and router one to router two. All right, going to router zero, it's an AS100. We're gonna do router BAGP and the autonomous system number, that's 100. And neighbor 192.168.50.2, which is router one. And you have to put in the word remote AS and it's 200. All right, notice nothing's come up yet because in BGP, both sides need to be configured. Actually, gonna exit out of here and do a show IP BGP. So nothing shows up. Show IP BGP summary. And we have a 192.168.50.2 is configured as our neighbor. Nothing's happening and state active, it means it's actively trying to find the other guy. And uh, nothing seems to be working, but wait. We're going to close that one out or minimize it. Go to router one. Ooh. And on router one, we're going to move it just about right there. Conf T, router BGP 200, neighbor 192.168.50.1. So that's the link, the interface on router zero, remote AS 100. And while we're waiting, we might as well configure the other link to router 2. And you can see here, we've got adjacency change. Our neighbor has gone up. 60.2, remote AS 300. And what we'll do here is we're done on router 1. Let's go to router 0, go back to router 0, minimize router 1. Hit the up arrow, show IP BGP summary. And you'll see that we have a neighbor now and we've got two messages sent, so that's pretty good. And we've been up for about 30 seconds. Let's just do a quick show IP route. And all we have is connected information. The reason for that is BGP, you need to specify to put networks into BGP. So either you use a network statement or redistribute or aggregate address. Uh, those three things are the main ways of getting network information into BGP to send out. So we haven't done any of, any of that yet. And we're actually gonna do that in a later video. These couple of videos are just gonna be on establishing a neighbor relationship. So go back to router two. We have one more peering relationship to set up. Conf T, router BGP 300. Neighbor, 192.168.60.1, that's router 1 in the middle there, remote AS200. And in a couple seconds you'll see the neighbor go up. Probably notice that BGP is kind of slow, and uh, that's by design. It's been designed for stability, so not really for speed. Okay, we've got our neighbor going up. That's great. Show IP BGP summary on router two. And we've got a neighbor. Let's go back to router one and we're gonna do show IP BGP summary. And since it's the middle router, you should be able to see two neighbors, router zero and router two. Show IP BGP summary. There we go. Got two neighbors, one in AS100, which is router one, or router zero on the left side, and AS300, which is router two on the right side. Okay, keep all your configurations. Don't change anything. In the next video, we're actually gonna peer all the way from router zero to router two. Okay, see you then.